Boom. There you go. <clears throat> James Green short series shenanigans. I'm using my phone. So this is going to be a uh, first kind of a review video of the clutch heavy duty welding fabrication table. Yeah, today is May 31st, 2020. So like millions of other Americans, I was laid off slash fired from my job back on March the 30th. So yes, it was fun trying to get everything that I had at work back here to the house and in the garage. In the process, I finally decided I was going to break down and get a proper, if you will, welding table. Okay, I've unboxed it. Um, there was a, it was it was packed very well, believe it or not. Um, this was already affixed together. Okay, because it's obviously welded, as you can see. I've got the legs here. There's four of them. You can see where they're going to bolt and then slide together, depending on where you want to put stuff got your little leveling legs basically I unpacked it um, there's some more bolts little holders that it comes with um, again I got this as far as because I'll show you the old table that I've had for a while uh, that those are good this one as you can see has a little warpage going on uh, had something heavy on it, bent it, and I'm like, you know what? These are good tables. This one I got at Harbor Freight, like 60 bucks. I had it, I've had it like five years now, no problems. Um, but I wanted to get a proper welding table uh, because it's gonna set here. Yeah, I've got some uh, old drill presses that I'm gonna be uh, fixing up uh, to sell, or as is, where is. That's how I bought them. Um, this one I want to keep the Delta, the Dunlop, and then here's an Atlas. They are as is, where is, um, so yeah, depending on how long you see this video or how long it's up, I may or may not have them, but uh, anyway, moving right along, sidetracked a little bit. So yeah, I wanted a proper welding table. I mean, it shows here, if you've already got a bench, you can just put those right on, or you can put the legs. We're gonna put the legs. It came with these, okay, little adjustable clamps. And if you're a machinist, I mean, you can make a lot of stuff, but this was, I got it. I actually went on Amazon and shipping and everything, it was like 180 bucks. To me, uh, totally worth it because I didn't have to drill all those holes. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So twelve times eighteen, that's how many holes, and that's a lot of drilling. So for 180 bucks, yeah, it's worth it. Um, you can go on and see the tech data. They come with these little different deals here. Got some magnet holder things. Again, use your imagination. What you want to mount. I did go ahead and it also came with these aluminum ones for if you're welding aluminum, you don't want to, you know, that you could make those out of steel or make extra ones. There's those little hold down clamp things for, you know, whatever. It's a universal table. And, uh, you know, then you've got the regular legs here. Uh, those are if you're just going to put the short legs on. I'm going to pull these off and screw them into the bottom. Now, I will tell you, I did. I got the fan running in the background. So I did go ahead and purchase. These are from uh, Strong Hands. Okay. They should fit. Should be a universal, you know, what is it, 26 millimeter or whatever it is. You know, so let's see. I didn't even check to see if they, yep, so... If you get it, and I got the three inch throated jaw ones, you can get ones that are only two inch. I got three. So it looks like anything you get from strong hands is probably going to fit in there. They made sure it's universal. Um, you know, these are designed so you can slide them in, bolt, tighten it, which all shows some setups out there. Use your imagination. So, <clears throat> pull the phone out here. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Making sure I don't trip on anything. So, moved a lot of stuff around in here. I'll kind of give you guys a little tour because I know it's been a while. Uh, 
redid the floors in my house the last couple months. Got rid of all the carpet and putting down wood flooring or the uh, where you have underlayment and then laminate or not laminate. Uh, it comes in like seven and a half inch or whatever wide strips. Uh, I call it free floating floor. Say that fast with a mouthful of marbles. So the downstairs, let's see, uh, master bedroom, that got all redone, the closets and everything, pulled all the carpet out, all the stairs, which I've got that left, all the upstairs, all the carpet pulled out. One thing why it took so long upstairs, when this house was built in 94, the contractor that built it, you could tell, didn't use uh, very many, they were still using nails. I think for every four by eight sheet of wood, there was probably six or eight nails, period. So it was real loose and rocky. So I went through a 50 pound bucket of deck screws, screwing everything down to tighten it up. I'll do a different video showing you. Even redid the eagle's nest. That thing is a mess. So that's why I'm doing this on the phone and I'm gonna reset up that whole deal. But uh, I'll kind of show you around in the garage a little bit, did a little organization. <clears throat> this is something I hadn't showed on my channel in a while or if all, I don't remember. Picked up a, uh, there you go, look at that. Built, so I pulled the date and ran this. This one was actually built in 39. It's a K.O. Lee. And yes, yeah, so Fisher Bodies is still in business. That's how old this was. Um, it's still in business, running well. Pulled it apart, cleaned it up, got it on eBay. I had to fix this. This was all gunked up. I did build a new uh, shaft in here. I'll show you underneath that crazy little gear. See how it's angled? So yeah, I made me a gear because the gear was jacked up. A new rod. This is actually two speed. Let's see if I can do this one handed. You pull it out and it changes. Well, I'm not going to try to do it now, but you pull it out and it speeds it up. Because it's a multi, I, I put these on here. It's a universal tool cutter grinder. Uh, I did have to buy belts from McMaster Car. You can get whatever you want size. Because as you see here on the chart, the different diameter pulleys, because they are crown pulleys, give you the different RPM. I'm going to make some of those. I'll do video. It's all cleaned up. They glopped red paint. What I did is I went through <coughs> and. Uh, you know, because this came out of South Texas. Uh, I've oiled it up. There was just paint glopped on everything, and I cleaned it up to where I could read the numbers. Uh, it's got the little oilers in it. There you go. And they've got actually got the wicks in there. So I cleaned everything up where I could read. That way, if you, you, you can adjust whatever you need. Again, with the tools, the height, everything. That was separate. That was separate. I've actually had these for a long time. And then, so here's the model number. B660. And I didn't get too carried away trying to do a massive rebuild overhaul on this. I mean, you can see the original gray paint underneath. I just got rid of where you can see it's really orange peeled and it was big glops. They did that to protect it, I would imagine. Um... Here's your reamer. Actually, I picked that up on eBay. Um, I'll probably never ream something with it, but it is a Butterfield 3 inch. And the reason I got it was when I'm, it's going to be used to play with and learn and set up. Uh, when I get it set up to ream, I don't know what size it's going to be, but I paid 10 bucks for it shipped. So for me, $10 worth of practice, and I've got a bunch of carbide end mills because um, you got your centers on both sides where you can hold it and set everything up, and I've got centers and different tooling, and, you know, none of this stuff came with it. This was all separate stuff I've collected over the years. So, huh. guess I did find a sharp spot on it. Anyway. So yeah, Universal, a lot of extra stuff. I mean, there's lots of videos out there that people have done that show how to set up and tool and cutter grind. I'll do some because I've got a bunch of stuff that I want to do. 
So, and I'll show that. So yes, move this out of the way. Somewhat organized. I've got a lot of boxes here because uh, recently, and I'm saving those to reship out. The ones that are just brown, um, I'll get rid of. But I got some stuff for sale that I need to ship off. So kind of reorganize the material here. Got lots of stuff listed for sale. And of course, depending on how long this video is up, guys, I always got stuff for sale if you're looking for certain things. Um, reorganized. Lots of projects going on. Because when I moved here, it was basically dig everything out of storage and just puke it into the garage. So, anyway. Can actually get over here now. And I have heavy material, reamers. What I did do in the last couple months is I got my hot dip. And I hot dipped a bunch of stuff that I had. Um, as you can see there. And of course all a bunch of reamers and end mills and different things. Different sizes. So that is still a work in progress right now. Trying to decide. Need to move my wood chisels up top. But it's kind of organized now compared to what it was so my fan yay but anyhow walk back out here that is the hip and valley for the stairs the trim yeah that's going to be a long job <clears throat> so anyway back to it like i said this was an update slash kind of beginning review of what I've got going on. Kind of do something, get back in the swing of things. So yeah, the reason I haven't been on, because I am I get people that ask all the time, the last couple of years, places that I worked had uh, social media policies, especially the last place I worked. Uh, the last place I worked, um, you know, they were very adamant about, you know, what you did or did not do on social media, since I no longer work there. They can, uh, shove it yeah parting was not a uh they did a lot of people really bad really wrong a lot of lies i'll just leave it at that uh that place i'm sure someone that works there will probably see this video they could offer me four times the amount of what i was making i still wouldn't go back to work for them and i'll just leave it at that anyway so here's a little bit of an update hope you guys enjoy it like subscribe now that we're back in the garage and i'm going to be doing stuff I'll get my camera set back up and we'll be doing more videos because I know you guys like it. There you go. Like I always say in my other videos, take care of yourself and your family because at the end of the day, you and your family is all you got. I said that a long time ago. Probably holds true nowadays. So, check y'all later. Bye.